Hello everybody, Rudy Fruity here, and I'm coming at you with another Azulane video. This time we are talking about the Zero to Hero event, and we're going to be talking about how it works, because it's a very unique event here. So we're just going to go on ahead, uh, click on the event, and we'll take a look at the event screen here. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of things to this event. I mean, it has a very cool, like traditional RPG aesthetic, which is really nice. This look at this interface looks very cool, very nice. But yeah, uh, so what are you going to be doing here? So you may be confused like I was. Uh, I might have shown you this story. And the story is really like just you just click over a bunch of text. <laughs> if you care about the lore, if you care about the funny story, uh, you know, what, uh, uh, read through the story and then, you know, you'll get some experience points on your commander level, uh, as in commander level if for the event that is. So there's a unique commander level for the event versus the general commander level that you have the Azalean account. But yeah, that will level up and stuff. Uh, I also think that gives you XP or uh the event like level because you know how like usually with events there are event levels and as you go up you unlock rewards Oops. and that's sort of the same thing here doing the story will help with that but also doing the battles for this event will also help with that so how do you do the battles? Okay, so as you're on the battle screen, because you see this icon right here, it says story right now. I clicked it earlier when it said battles. So this is the screen you want to see to do battles. And then basically it turns into a raid event, basically. So if you're familiar with the raid events, it's kind of like the spring festive fiasco we had back in uh, like early February, late January. So yeah, it's like you just, do one battle over and over again, and then you will uh, get points for it. So you see, we're here at the level 90. I go here, and then I could auto repeat to 50 times. And that's nice. Uh, you could just set it and forget it, and then you'll get the rewards from grinding here. And also try, you should at least try if you can, uh, these um, SP or like hard mode levels to get just that little extra push in your experience points. So after you gain some levels for the event, you're doing these and doing the story, and you want to go to the capital here. And you can do a couple things here that are pretty important. You go to the Adventurous Guild, and this just shows you uh, like some quests and the rewards you get. You get like the event XP or some of them, and also you get the Special event coins, the special event currency, which I'll talk about right now or in a moment. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, these you, you do these, you do your dailies for the event and then you get rewards and you, these are worth doing too, because you could get some gem on oh, not gems. You could get some cubes, you get some cubes from doing some of the event missions. Okay. And another, what, what do you do with the special coins? Well, you want to go to Manju temple. And depending on which, uh, okay, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> so you're here at the Maju Temple, and then you have three different statues you could sort of uh, give the royal coins to as tribute to whatever little statue you're kind of uh, praying to, uh, sort of speak. And um, depending on which one you pray at, the blessing will vary uh, the blessings that you earn. Uh, yeah, and uh, depending on the blessings that you earn, will like give you a themed bo uh, uh, buff or something like that. Uh, yeah, you, also you get uh, skill books, you get coins, oil, and plates, which is very useful. So this is also very good for beginners as well to build up your skill book storage, your coins oil and stuff so it's very very useful uh and then yeah you also get the uh, blessings which we'll look at the blessings right now and uh, i think probably the best screen to take a look at that is going back over here and looking at interface at the bottom left corner excuse me 
So you go to the interface, click blessings, and you'll see the blessings that I currently have enabled, but this will also show the blessings that you have enabled. Sometimes the screen will be empty. And yeah, as you pray at the statue, you will unlock blessings. The more you bless, uh, the more you pray at a specific statue, the more blessings you'll earn around that theme. So keep that in mind. Uh, right now, this is the loadout I am using uh, as I, uh, you know, make more progress. I will experiment with the blessings and let you know which ones I think are worth equipping. Uh, but this is the loader I have right now, just one of the ones I had and just took a quick look at. Uh, but yeah, the, the the blessings can vary in like buff usefulness. Uh, so this one increase uh, uh, every 20 seconds, increase the damage dealt by a random ship in your fleet by 30% for eight seconds. Could be very substantial change there. And then Royal Fortune, her blessing is increases your fleet's damage dealt by 15% for the first 60 seconds after the start of battle afterwards decrease damage dealt by 10%. So some of these you got to read and you got to really consider like what battle you're going into and how useful these skills would be. Between these two, I would say this one's really useful for like the level 90 and below, but not for the 125. Uh, for the 125, I would probably go with this one because I don't expect the um, oops don't expect the battle to go that long okay and yeah and then otherwise uh, you as you earn event currency as well you just go to the event shop and then you got all your heroes coins here see this is a kind of a low-key fun event um, almost like a prelude event really um, as you are getting XP for specific ships. And yeah, it's just a really fun, kind of grindy, rewarding uh, um, event here. And also don't forget to get your cog chips and blueprints. Those are the most important things you should be getting here. And heck, I'm gonna get mine right now. Like that, do as I do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's going to be the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any more questions about the game, let me know. And let me know how the event is going for you. Also, if I made any mistakes, also feel free to let me know as well. Respectfully, I do do appreciate a respectful correction. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.